There's that fire alarm Sam is always cool and calm If you're stuck, give him a shout He'll be there to help you out So move aside, make way For Fireman Sam Cause he's gonna save the day Fireman Sam Cause he's way to the core Sam is the hero next door I'm on my way. Don't worry, Lamykins. I'll have you down in no time. I just stopped under the bridge and she jumped on. Well, she's down now, Trevor. Come on, Penny. We'd best get back to the station. Chief Fire Officer Boyce is running a training day today. Right you are, Sam. I've just been doing my accounts and I noticed something very exciting. The next customer that walks through that door will be our one millionth customer. Wow! Is that a lot? Of course it's a lot. A million is hundreds and hundreds of thousands. I've got a totally brilliant idea. When that millionth customer comes in, we should do something really special. What a good idea. Why don't I go and make the lunch while you two think of something? OK, okay Mum! Mom. So, sir, what sort of training did you have in mind for us today? Well, first... Hello, Chief it... Fire Officer Boyce. We've just done the most unusual rescue. We had to get Lamykins down from the top of a bus. <laughs> oh, my dear chaps, rescues can get a lot more unusual than that. <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh, really? Oh, yes. In fact, that's given me an idea. Today's training will be a firefighter's guide to unusual rescues. So, did you have any ideas about what to do for our millionth customer? Lords, Mum! We decided that when they walk in, there will be party poppers and bunting. And a huge cake that someone jumps out of and shouts, Surprise! Surprise! Oh, my! Do you mean a real cake? No, a big pretend one. Well, that all sounds wonderful. But who are you going to get to make a big pretend cake before this evening? Oh, oh, Mike! Mike! Hello, you two. We need you to make us a cake. Oh, <laughs> I'm not really a baker. But it's not a real cake, Mike. It's a big pretend one. That someone can jump out of. Oh, that does sound like a challenge. And I do love a good challenge. I'll get started right away. That's the cake sorted. All we need now is someone to jump out of it. Oh, that's a tricky one. Hmm, who could it be? I know. I could do it. Look. Surprise. <laughs> hmm. I think we might need someone a little louder than that. There is absolutely no way I am going to wear a bow tie to Auntie Phyllis's wedding. Norman Price, you will wear a bow tie and that's the end of it. Oh, all right, ma'am. Norman! We've got a really exciting job for you. Ooh. Now, the most unusual rescue I ever did was the time I rescued a horse that was stuck in a lift. Call that unusual? I once had to winch a monkey out of a chimney pot. Um, sir, uh, sirs, are you actually going to demonstrate one of these rescues? Of course. Now, which one shall I do first? I know. <gasps> Luring a swarm of bees out of a gas barbecue. Yeah, call that unusual. I think this could be a long day. There. All done. Me too. What do you think of that then, Bromwyn? Good enough to eat, eh? Oh, it's perfect, Mike. Wow, look at that cake. Look, Mum, we've got Norman to shout surprise. Oh, how do I get in? Come over here, Norman. I'll show you. Well, I'd better get those fryers on. I want our one millionth customer to have fish and chips on the house. I'm sorry, Steel, old chap, 
but rescuing a tug-of-war team out of a swimming pool full of baked beans is definitely more unusual than rescuing an opera singer from a tree. I beg to differ. The one thing this is teaching me is that I don't think I've done any really unusual rescues. Don't worry, Penny. I'm sure you will one day. Are you all right in there, Norman? It's a bit dark. Oh, look. Here comes Moose Roberts. He might be the millionth customer. Oh, he's gone straight past. The oil's getting nice and hot. I hope the one millionth customer turns up soon. Yes. My bottom's gone to sleep. Oh, shh, Norman. Look, here comes Dillis. Oh, she's heading straight for us. Ooh, how exciting. Oh, get ready, everyone. Has anyone seen my precious Norman? What are you lot staring at? Surprise! Oh, what on earth? You're our one millionth customer, Dillis. And here's a... Norman could see this. Norman, jump out of the cake. I can't get out. I thought I just heard my Norman's voice. You did. He's in the cake. You baked my Norman in a cake? Oh. No. I made the cake out of wood. What? Oh. It was supposed to be a... Oh. Oh, forget it. It's stuck. Let me out. Dillis, wake up! Oh, sniff this! Shall I pop the party poppers now? They smell smoke. <laughs> so do I! Oh no! I forgot to turn off the oil! Evacuate! Quick everyone! Head for the door! Abandon cake! I'll call Fireman Sam! What's going on? Oh no! My Norman's stuck in that cake! Don't worry, Dillis. I'll push the cake out. Ow! Just stop bumping me around. Oh, no! It's too big! Right. We will now demonstrate the procedure for extricating someone's foot from half a bucket of mussels. Are you ready, Norris? I certainly am. Excellent. Um... I, I, I actually can't get this off. A fire at the Whole Fish Cafe and Norman Price is trapped in a giant cake. A fire at the Whole Fish Cafe and Norman Price is trapped inside a giant cake. My Norman, my poor Norman. Mike's still in there trying to get Norman out. Stand back, everybody. <laughs> it's no good. I can't get him out. Stand back, Mike. I'll do it. <laughs> Surprise! Oh, dear. Come on, Norman. Let's get you out of here. Are you the one millionth customer, Sam? My little Norman. Oh, I can't believe I didn't keep an eye on the fryer. You were very brave, Sam. And Penny. So was Mike. He tried his best to get Norman out of that cake. Is everyone all right? Yes, sir. But you missed Firefighter Morris executing a very unusual rescue, sir. We did. I had to rescue Norman Price from a giant cake. Oh, I don't think we can top that, can we, sir? What about rescuing a chief fire officer's foot from half a bucket of mussels? Hmm, that should do it. Now, hold still. What? To the car. Sam is the hero next door. 